What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and patch 2.0 is finally here. So with this new update of 2.0, we finally get to experience all the new changes that came to Destiny and preview some of the new changes before the Taken King comes out next week on the 15th. So as you can see here, I just finished uploading patch 2.0 and we're actually going to check out all the new things that are added to the game. So here we are in the tower and we can finally take a look at some of the cool new changes that came along with patch 2.0. I'm going to start off with the character screen. So uh, now it looks a little bit different. We can see a lot of changes on this. We got differences in the attack values as well as the defense values of all the gear. And it determines your light score or light number or value. And uh, basically it's an average of all of these armor pieces, all of your weapons, your ghosts even, and your class item now. So pretty cool and even artifacts I believe. So that's going to add in or tie into your light number or value. And that's why my number is kind of low because my ghost is bringing it down because it only has three defense on it since it's the uh, original ghost. Um, so that's pretty cool. We also got quests if you scroll to the left. We have the bounties over here. We got a reputation at the bottom. And I can also track uh, all these quests that I gain um, to do all these missions from the past even as well. So I'm going to head over to the speaker side so we can take a look at some cool stuff that changed. So I'm really excited to try out everything. We got some exciting things to try out. Especially uh, with Crucible, we got Rift and Mayhem. And we also got the Gunsmith Field Test Weapons uh, tomorrow. So that's really good as well. Ground to cover. So here we are at the speaker. And uh, we're going to take a look. He pretty much has some... Similar things we got the material exchange still and then we also got the ghost shells So we can pick up a ghost shell from him now and this is gonna improve uh, my light level or light score So that's really good as well Turn to the fight, Guardian. And then heading over to this Eva Levante area we got the kiosk so we got the collections and uh, basically we can look at our emblems and uh as well as shaders and basically have it stored here so it's really cool I'm actually gonna test this out right now so I'm gonna delete one of my emblems I just picked up my Soros pack uh, so let's delete this let's delete this Emperor Sigil so I delete the Emperor Sigil and I'll delete this Achilles one too for the shaders so I deleted these two and now I've accessed all the ones I've earned before some of the faction ones uh, we got some new raid ones, and the Emperor Sigil is right here where I left it, uh, so that's pretty cool. And then we also got some new, oh, the new raid ones look pretty sick. So here's a few from the King's Fall Raid. This one says reward from King's Fall Raid. Another reward with the uh, Taken King emblem. Another one, uh, this one looks pretty cool, this red and black one. Another one from King's Fall Raid, and this last one. Also with Crota, or not Crota, Oryx on it. So that looks pretty cool as well. We also got some new Iron Banner ones. This Iron Pride one looks pretty sick. And another one that looks similar to the green one. This one's Ironwood Tree. Uh, we got some new Trials of Osiris emblems um, with this one. And this one is a Flawless Victory emblem. So this is a new one, I believe, that you'll be able to get if you go Flawless and go to the Lighthouse in the new Trials of Osiris when that comes out. And then we also got these shaders over here, uh, so pretty similar, all my faction ones, all the activities ones, House of Wolves, Taken King, uh, so pretty cool. I got my Suros one right there, this one's from the vendors and stuff, so pretty sweet, pretty sweet. We also can preview all of them and uh, figure out how to get all of these, so that's really good. And then we'll take a look at Eva Levante real quick. Uh, she has some um, cool stuff for sale. She's actually selling two of the new uh, shaders, so that's really cool. And we also got these new emblems. We got this little light emblem. I actually picked this one up. I'll pick this one up. Looks pretty cool. So um, pretty cool stuff over here on the speaker side. Uh, I'm going to take a look real quick um, on the middle section and then the hanger section real quick. And we'll see what all the changes are about. So I believe the uh, bounty guy Xander has some new bounties, the, the gunsmith doesn't have anything new, 
uh, right now because it's not going to update until tomorrow in terms of the field test weapons. Um, but pretty cool. So we got Eris, nothing new here. She changed location and she'll have some new rewards, I believe, uh, once Taking King comes out and we do some quests with her. Uh, I can get quests from a core ray for the warlock and you can get it for your respective classes so I can gain a quest and do this so that's pretty cool See you and then we got the blueprints right here so we got the armor exotic blueprints um, so we got some light beyond nemesis obsidian mine heart of practic fire void fang and starfire protocol and claws of ahamkara for the warlock that's pretty cool and then we also got the exotic weapon blueprints uh, so it says Suros, Last Word, Bad Juju, Red Death, Truth, Thunderlord, Invictive, and a bunch more. Um, so we got PlayStation exclusives coming. I'm excited for that because I'm an Xbox player. And we also got the Year One stuff. I pretty much have all of them except Dreg's Promise. Um, but I do have an Elder Cipher so I can just turn that in um, and grab this to complete my Year One exotics. And then over here on the side where Xur sometimes comes and shows up, we got some abandoned quests so I can pick up some of these old quests and redo them, I believe, to gain some experience. This is all the old missions like from Dark Below, House of Wolves, stuff like that. The original story as well. And then we got some uh, new stuff coming to Lord Shax and this guy, I believe, once Taken King comes out. Uh, the Cryptarch also is going to be selling legendary engrams. Um, for those legendary marks so that's another cool thing and then if we head over to the right side we can take a look at the ship kiosk as well and um, stuff like that so pretty cool I'm really excited to try out everything I'm it's I'm just excited to take a look at everything right now so it's pretty it's pretty ridiculous we got the ship right here ship kiosk uh, we have this Taking King one from a quest. Uh, this one looks not bad. I like the new design. Um, at least they're changing it up. Oh, we got this new Iron Banner one. That looks that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Um, what else do we have from Crucible? Crucible, new mon. Oh, the new faction ships. This looks pretty cool. Uh, this new Monarchy one looks pretty sweet. I like the color scheme of New Monarchy. Future War Cult looks similar to the Iron Banner one, except with color, the different color scheme. And the Dead Orbit one, this one actually looks similar to the um, Trials one, the shape of it, with uh, the Dead Orbit logo on it. So uh, let's scroll over and see if we can find some other new stuff. Wait, what was that? Is this Raid? This is a new raid ship from King's Fault. Whoa, this one looks sick. This one looks... So this one looks pretty cool. The Agonarch Carve. I don't know if I said that right, but the description reads, Life is pain, pain is power, and power is life. From Tolin the Shattered, who is... If you guys follow the lore of Destiny, uh, one guy that was banished, I believe, because he uh, was too obsessed with the Hive. He was a person that studied the Hive, similar to how Osiris uh, studies the Vex. So, pretty cool. That was a quote from him. That raid ship looks pretty sweet. Uh, and you get it from defeating Oryx on King's Fall Raid on heroic difficulty. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, we got the sparrows over here, the vehicles. Um, nothing new. There's no Taking King emblem or s symbols on any of these. So, nothing really new there. And then, of course, we got the Dead Orbit, or any of your factions, actually. And now you can pledge allegiance to them. So, uh, I don't know if I'm going to pledge allegiance to Dead Orbit just yet. I'm already ranked 44, though. And I believe, from what I heard from everyone, if you're higher than 25, you will get a quest from your faction. And it will yield an exotic class item once you finish that quest. So... Pretty cool stuff if you guys want to do that. And that's about it for all the new changes at the tower. Thank you guys for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy patch 2.0 for this week. And next week we got Taking King finally coming out. So I'm super excited. Can't wait to bring you guys more videos on all the new stuff. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.